Hello, my name is Danielle. I'm a student academic leader at the Federation Uni Australia. I'm going to talk to you about referencing and provide you with key knowledge and skills to accurately cite sources and construct full citation lists for assignments. Alright, so what is referencing? Referencing is the standardised practice of acknowledging sources and the information you've used in your assignments. Referencing is an important skill that should be developed when you start university. The failure to cite a source correctly or completely could result in you being accused of plagiarism. So when you're completing assignments at university, you need to do some research and find information from other sources. So you need to support your work with other people's opinions from uh, people who've done research before. Uh, we need to do it to correctly acknowledge the source of information that you've used. So where you've got the information from, you need to give them acknowledgement for, for that. Um, to enable an assessor or your lecturer to trace the sources that you've used in your work, to avoid plagiarism um, and to give your work some credibility and demonstrate that you've done research on the topic that you're doing your assignment on. Um, and also it demonstrates that you're adhering to academic conventions, so you're presenting your work um, at academic standard. So there are a few different times that you need to reference during your work. As a general rule, you need to, uh, you need to reference when you're using the ideas or evidence when it's from another source, so you've got it from somebody else. So this includes when you're quoting directly or using word for word what someone else has said. Uh, when you're paraphrasing the work of someone else, so if you've got an idea from somewhere else and you might have changed all the words in it, you still need a cite and need a reference where you've got that from. When you're using statistics from someone else's work, or when you're using tables or diagrams that someone else has created. Uh, when you're using facts or opinions or dates from another source, you also need to uh, cite that as well. So we'll talk about how you're going to reference things. So initially you should keep track of all the sources that you use to write your assignment. So this includes the title of the text, author, publisher, page numbers and a URL if you have access to the online document. Web-based programs such as RefWorks can help you keep track of the references you use during your assignment. There are two main types of referencing which include in-text citations and full-text citations. In-text citations usually consist of the author's name and year and page numbers when appropriate. In-text citation appears in the body of an essay or report. Full-text citations, on the other hand, appear at the end of the document on a separate page. The purpose of full-text citations is so that the reader or your lecturer can refer to the sources um, that have been cited within your assignment so they can know where you've got all of your information from. So that's it from me about referencing. Hopefully this has been useful in helping you understand what it is and how you go about it. Don't forget if you need any further assistance, check out the library website or the general guide for the presentation of academic work. You can also drop up and see us at the Ask Desk and we're happy to help you, give you any help with anything you need. Thanks.